I like to use bamboo skewers as dowels for my small wood projects. Today I'm making some little parts trays for the shop and I'm going to share with you the method that I use for uh, utilizing these skewers as dowels. I bought this bag of bamboo skewers at our local grocery store. I think it was something like $3.50. I'm not sure, but you get a hundred of these things. So that's three and a half cents per skewer. There's some variation in the dimensions on these. So when I'm drilling holes for these, I will measure the skewer that I'll be using. And this one measures out at about uh, 115, 115 thousandths thereabouts. So that's a little under one eighth. And you could surely use this with a one eighth hole. I drilled a one eighth hole here and it's just, it's fine. It, it's a little bit loose in there, but because I'm fussy, I, I went down a notch and I went to a 120 bit and this gives you kind of a close sliding fit here. So by the time I put glue in that hole and tap that dowel in, that's going to be a nice firm connection. But again, I think if you glued this in a hole like this with that little bit of looseness, you'd be fine. Bamboo is a little bit splintery if you just try to break it, but if you cut it, you'll get a nice clean dowel out of it. What I'll do is I'll just make a little mark on my table here, like this. I use a Sharpie, something like that. That doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'll just take a knife, and what I do is I will just kind of use my fingers and I'll roll the skewer under the blade and just make a score line around it. And you can just do, you can do several lines in a few seconds, like this. It's kind of fun, you get a rhythm going. And I can usually get 15 or 20 sometimes of these little dowels out of a single skewer. So you get the idea there. And so now I've got these score lines and these break off nice and easy and you do not have any kind of fuzz on the end of it, like you would get if you cut it with your bandsaw or any other saw for that matter. And so I got about a dozen or so just out of that section. So I framed up this little box uh, just using miter joints here and uh, that's not very strong. So I reinforced with some of my bamboo uh, skewer dowels and uh, just put a few in I use different patterns for each of the corners, and I think that significantly strengthens uh, the little box here. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna uh, attach this piece of, looks like quarter inch plywood, maybe 3 16ths, to the bottom of this. And so I'm gonna just glue this on the bottom, but that wouldn't be very strong. And I'll just use these bamboo skewers through the bottom uh, to uh, strengthen. I oversized the bottom of this, so I'm gonna take it over to the uh, belt sander and uh, cut it down so it's flush. And I'll just make a little score line that's gonna kinda of go down the center uh, of the edges of the walnut. And then I'll head over to the drill press. The pointy tips of these skewers are just perfect to get a little drop of glue on and you can use that to kind of scratch up and down the inside of the hole and make sure that glue is slopped all around in there. And wipe away the excess glue here. We don't really need all this glue on the outside. And then just to be sure I've got plenty of glue down in the hole, I'll put just a little bit on the tip of each one and they have such a close fit. Uh, with the hole that uh, I think this is really all you need and so just uh, start one in each of these holes and I'll just use a little hammer and just tap them home that th 
And so I've left them proud. They're all, all the way down in the hole. And uh, I've left them proud and I'll let them dry for a few minutes and then I'll go to the sander and sand the bottom. Well, I'm happy with this. Um, I just want to point out, you know, I used my uh, belt sander to do this, but the uh, dowels are very sandable and you could use sandpaper. You could probably just cut off uh, most of it and then just sand the little nub down. It would be just fine.